So Mama came and pointed out that she, her anal glands seemed a little full. So we are, we're gonna do our anal glands today. And I showed Mom what to look for using two fingers and just kind of feeling around that area. You might feel the outside of a, on each side, the outside of a little marble. Use my 40 blade here. Come through and do the pads first. Probably gonna come back and do the nails first too because the back ones are she's monthly, but her back ones curl up pretty good, so got my little oops, watch out. She's resting her knee on that dog up Sam. So we got the dog up mini. Under her here, you can pick those up at dogupstand.com. Give her a little bit of knee support. Got some of these ones that are curled. They're just gonna grow out curled, you know what I'm saying? Mama's out there waiting for you because this is gonna be quick. Okay, I know you don't want me to get in there. Let me see. Gotta move that tail. Let me see. Let me see. Good girl. Now I see this one. Get my fork going right on, do a little something here on the side. Pat this down a little bit.
put your shaper brush or 8.5 and come in and trim this out. These baby knees like this on these smaller dolls, you just gotta be a, a bit careful. You know, sometimes you can tell they're just weaker than the average. Just by how much pressure she wants to apply back there. through and do them just minimal movement on them too if you want to do that. want to handle the knee less and I can feel it's weak. So I'm not going to be perfect, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. She's moving her tail. You're moving your tail around. You're moving your tail around. Can I see that? Push that all up so you can see what you're working with. Here. You want to use this? This is a perfect place to do this. Even on the back feet, but I just try to do minimal on the back feet. Can bring that down there, put it on the edge. Watch her tongue and everything if she licks you, but. That edge really helps you cut, cut around what's hanging past the nails, right? Yeah, girl. Alright, we've never had to do our anal glands before, but I want to go ahead and record it since mom hasn't seen them done before, okay? So we're going to get in here. I've got the baby cone head on. I'm going to get my lubricant going here, got my gloves and everything. And I don't know how she's going to behave, so I went ahead and put that. Oh, I'm going to get some more of this. Okay, go in. Extremely full. I'm so sorry. Extremely full, guys. Look at all this. So one side is cream and one side's brown. Look at all that out of her little baby anal glands. They are smelly too. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. Woo! Oh, that's good. I'm so sorry, man. Take this off. Who did that? I'm so sorry. I'm going to do a little wrap up here. I'm going to go ahead and do my leave-in conditioner just to add. Come back and do some brushing here.
your D mount breakers if you mount it behind your ears here. got to go on a cruise and she was over here having a vacation herself hanging out with some family dogs right got to party a little bit I can tell you were partying a little bit yes I can let me see can you look over here because I can't really see what I'm doing if you're gonna look over that way Take a hike. out with your eight and a half. Just kind of trim up some of the stuff hanging around. Because once that hair is clean, it's going nice, to get nice and freed up. Sometimes you got to get down to their level. Don't look down, squat down. Get up under there with your eyeballs and see what's even, not even. to look up. You're, you're looking up now, aren't you? Let me take some of this. Get down and look through. 
down under between, kind of scope it out, you know what I mean? Look through the coat. Make sure where she poos, all this hair is out of the way. Check through her fingers here, digits. Okay, great. Double check one more time up in here. Yeah, we're looking good. Hey, baby girl. You all cleaned up? You ready to go? Got a pencil clone. Just a couple of squirts, you don't need too much. It doesn't need to be overbearing. Hey, you guys, thanks for watching me groom that chihuahua. She's so, so sweet. Uh, so make sure you get your large bristle brush. You can make do with a small bristle brush only if you're working with that size of a pet. But I feel the bigger the bristle brush, the more room you cover and the less you have to stroke and get the amount of work done. So large bristle brushes are what I always use, my 8.5 shears. Definitely make sure you have an 18 inch groom loop, an arm, a table, and good metal arm clamp, not a plastic one. I'm using my Andis 5 speed. I used a 10 blade and a 40 blade, 10 blade on her sanitary and a underneath the four guard attachment comb. And then I'll also use, which is a one fourth inch by the way, also ended up using my shaper brush, D matter, D, excuse me, mat breaker, and because there's a D mat comb, right? So the mat breaker, which I hardly use that thing, but it's great and handy for bigger, thicker coats. Um, you could have gotten away with using the Furminator a little bit, maybe even the Zoom Groom, but we did a lot of brushing, so I think we were well off there. And there's a few tools I know I'm missing, a nail clipper, a small nail clipper, plus the 8.5 shear. And then if you were going to trim up the ears, you want to get your, you know, six, six and a half ear shear, straight tip, point tip. Um, I hope this has been very helpful for you. I use my little broom too. Oh my gosh, I never talk about it, but it's something you use every day, right? Is your, is your broom, the big broom and the little broom. And then an extra groom loop for the tub, your shower hose nozzle, the one that's really, really awesome. Get that extra one. It'll last, it's lasted me like the entire time I've been grooming, about 14 years um, is when I found it. And I've been through some serious fire hose nozzles, all these different nozzles. This is the best one I have found. Plus your twirly water hose. Without that, I would not be able to stretch that baby to the limit that I do. I can actually stretch it all the way out here and wash my table. I mean, it is long. So make sure you have the right equipment to help do you what you need to do. And don't forget to get your towels. We're going to start carrying towels here pretty soon. So that'll be on our website. But check out myfavoritegroomer.com. Thanks for being here. Thanks for shopping with us, supporting us. Your contributions, donations take us a long way. Help us stay alive here. And if you've learned something from me and I've challenged you, throw, the, throw a donation in there. And we appreciate you. We'll see you later. Talk to you later. Bye.